that's why this cave is so fucking dangerous. Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Ascended. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, our main goal is to do the artifact to the Skylord Cave. Uh, but before we do that, uh, we got some things to get you caught up on. Uh, so let's get started, first of all, with the off-camera stuff. Uh, this is what I got out of the Swamp Cave loot recently. And uh, we finally uh, tamed ourselves uh, our first uh, Tapahara. There's the stats on the right-hand side for anybody who's interested. It was, um, I think it was 85 or something like that in the wild. Here's the footage from that. And as you can see over yonder, we got ourselves um, a male uh, Giga. Uh, interesting, I was um, doing some scouting up to the blue obby uh, because I don't know if I've mentioned this to you guys or not, but it is tentatively my plan to, whoa, that was weird, uh, tentatively my plan to um, take the armies to the obelisks on foot the first time even if we do have crab pots. And the reason why I would do that is because when I set out to do this series, I wanted to get back to the original experience uh, of playing on the island. And I didn't even know at that time anyways that they were gonna even put crab pods in at all. And uh, so we'll probably do that. Now, most likely we'll probably run subsequent bosses. I'm thinking I'm probably gonna farm Alpha Megapithecus because he's considered the easiest boss just for element mostly and you know subsequent runs I'll either just keep an army of dinos up there or use cryopods or something I don't know uh, but for the first attempt I just want to go through the experience as painful as it probably is going to be <laughs> to get get the dinos up to you know to the obelisk and ultimately up to the volcano when we do the um the tech cave in the original uh, intended manner, uh, just so we can say we did it. Uh, incidentally, somewhere up on that volcano, there is a level, another level 15 male giga. I do not need any more male gigas. Um, I actually have two at the moment. Um, and uh, that right down here, I have another uh, baby giga that has been born, and I have two more eggs currently incubating. So, um, this baby Giga here is, unfortunately, it didn't inherit the father's purple color, which is cool. Uh, but we'll be using this as the, the main father. If we get another father from the current two eggs that I have out there, in fact, the mother might be ready to mate again. That's, yeah, that's probably just a normal egg there. Yeah. Um, she is... Yeah, she's ready to mate. Okay, so let's go ahead and have her pop out another uh, fertilized egg. So, 
Anyway, yeah, I, I mean, I want, I'm not going to keep any more than two male gigas uh, ever because there's just no reason to. So if we get a third baby that's not as good as this first baby that was born, um, this is the stats on it, by the way, then we'll probably just eat it. And then any male gigas after that will be eaten for, for levels. We'll keep all the females that we get, though, because, of course, um, the main the re main reason why we have gigas, in case you guys didn't know already, is for for leveling dinos. Um, so we're just going to have a whole mess of eggs. We're going to hatch them, put them in a kill chamber, and level our boss dinos. As cruel as it is, but it's just the way Ark is. <laughs> um, that's the main reason why it happened. Okay. So anyway, yeah. So we found Barney, and the story was that I was going up onto the the blue lobby, uh, and I popped right up you know, kind of crest to the top of the mountain. And there he was like right there, just scared the bejeebus out of me. I was not expecting it. <laughs> so anyway, uh, here's the footage uh, where we tamed big ass Barney. Okay, so yeah, that was pretty easy tame. Not too painful. Well, at least not for me. The, the bird might have other things to say about that because it got bit a few times, but hey, what can you do? Okay, so let's see. Before we... We're going to uh, set off to do that cave, but before we do that... Oh, oh yeah, I got to I gotta get you updated on our, uh, our new platform build, too. So let's go take a quick look at what's going on there. Um, and also, we'll stop into the barn. Well, the main barn, because now we have two barns and show you what's going on there so the uh this platform saddle or platform saddle <laughs> a tree platform um i have been working on as you can see i couldn't get this elevator to go flush with this but if i tell the elevator to do that then it comes down and goes flush for me which is great um just to kind of change things up a little bit what i've decided to do with this barn is i, I put in dino gates as the walls as you can see and then uh, all around the outside border, on the bottom level anyways, we've put the quarter stone blocks. And then I'm, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and put in greenhouse glass uh, for the window. And then have another um, row of the quarter blocks at the top to kind of frame it in. Uh, so that's what it looks like. And I think that's going to be cool. I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do for the roof. I might even make this a flat roof and then we'll just have a whole nother floor that we can do something with. I don't know what yet, but you know, things started getting really crowded in the barn and, and you'll see why in a second. And I have started breeding Euteranus in earnest. I just, you know, I just didn't find anything else in the wild. It, there still might be a wild UD out there with, with better stats, but uh, you, we've just started the process and we're going to keep starting. And if we do happen to find a wild, and, you know, whatever mutations we have at that point in time, we can just transfer uh, at that point in time, which is the nice thing about uh, Arc Ascended is the fact that you can transfer now um, mutation stacks onto other dinos where, you know, we used to not be able to do that. So it just gives us a lot more flexibility. So all that being said, um, this is our, our, our base father and our base mother. 
Both of these are level 217, meaning they have the exact same stats. So that way, any dinos that they pop out uh, afterwards, if, if, if it's 219, then we'll know that it's mutated. So it just makes it easier. Uh, but there's the stats. It's 35 health, 37 stamina. Stamina is the most important thing for you, Tyrannus, uh, at least if you're using them for boss fights, which is really what that why they exist anyways. 37 is not bad. Um, I wouldn't, I'd prefer something in the 40s, but, you know, I'll take 37. The melee is very low. Melee is not super important, but it's kind of important, particularly like, for example, uh, with the dragon fight, we're going to get adds that are going to attack us. And, you know, it'd be nice if the UD can um, help defend against that. And it can, but I mean, 29 is a very low number. But it's it's the stamina that matters the most, and the health is average. So, uh, you know, as long as we have decent stamina to start with, which we do, I, I think we'll be okay on the UDs. So, uh, because the Uteranus are de by far the largest animal that we're doing inside of a barn, uh, that's why I decided, okay, it's time for us to start working on this second barn here um, to make room for them. And then I, I just got a couple of extra spare uh, Quetzal, or not Quetzals, what the hell are these things called? Therizinos. Uh, this Uteranus I no longer need. I just need to take it out to the wild and let it go. I haven't gotten around to it yet. Okay, so, yeah, things are moving along here. Looking pretty good. Let's take a quick look in the barn. What's going on over here? I am on the verge of uh, full production now for our Therizino army, which is going to be our main army. I have 20 base mothers... Um, except for the mother of 20 is still growing up. So she's not quite grown up yet. And then I have a father with a, a melee mutation that I'm using, uh, to start our melee line. So, so from this point forward, for those of you who don't understand how arc breeding works, uh, with mutation stacking in particular, uh, basically every single dino that you see here is level 239. Okay. Um, so we're going to start breeding the dino with this mutated father until we get a father that's also level 239, and then we'll replace that one with this one. Um, because this one, not all of the stats on this one are exactly the same as the mother's. That's why it's got a, a lower level. And again, we just want the levels to be exactly the same because it makes it super easy to identify uh, a mutation on new babies. So what we're going to do once this one grows up is we're going to breed all of these mothers with this uh, melee mutation male. So you can see in the lower right-hand corner, there's, it's got a base, base of 39 melee and then two more, uh, which is good. It's not super good, but it's good. And then we're look, what we're first thing we're doing is we're looking for a male that pops out um, at level 239. Okay, once we get that with that mutation on it, um, then we will replace this with that male, and that will become our actual breeding dad, our breeding father. And from there, we just breed like crazy. Um, and we just look for mutations, and we are only going to keep... Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. We're only going to use male dinos that continue to stack those mutations if we get a female that has a stack mutation we'll keep her we'll set her aside and what we'll do with her is we will breed her with the base father which is this guy to try and pass that mutation on to the father because you want all the mutations to always stay on the patrilineal side not the matrilineal side um if we if we get a dino that has a mutation in health we'll Pull that aside and just and hang on to it. Because again, we can transfer mutations now. So that dino is useful, but it's but we're not going to include it in our mutation stacks for melee. So hopefully that makes sense. If it doesn't, you know, there's lots of videos out now that explain how all that stuff works. Um a really good one I can recommend is from Oh, a YouTuber, her name is Tia something or other. I will um if I remember, I'll try and put the link. Uh, in when I edit this video to you guys, um, but she does a very good job of explaining how all of that works. Um, yeah. Okay. So we're really, like I said, we're just waiting for this this final mother to grow up, and then we're going to really start, you know, all of this in earnest here. 
I got two uh, Giga Eggs and another one that we got to go. Actually, yeah, we need to go pick it up because Giga Eggs spoil very quickly. Fertilized eggs do. And, uh, yeah, all we're doing right now is we're just looking for female gigs so that we can produce a whole bunch of eggs for the purpose of leveling our boss dinos. So let's pick that up on you. I want you to... I, I'm controlling when... Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> controlling when they can mate just because... You know, I don't want any of those eggs to go to waste. And they will spoil very quickly if you don't pick them up right away. Uh, why am I so damn heavy? Oh, because I, I have two giga eggs. Okay, the non-fertilized eggs... Normally, those would be fantastic for making extraordinary kibble. But I have like over 300 U Tyrannus eggs waiting in the fridge. So, <laughs> I don't even really need to, to save those, you know, but whatever. Uh, also, I did find a level 120 um, wild mother. I don't know, I don't know why I named that 145. It was a 120. I must have been thinking about something else. So this was a uh, wild, whoops, mother 120. And the reason being is because I, I realized that my Ankies have very low melee, and you know. That's important when you have to gather thousands and thousands of metal for high-level blueprints. You know, it's just slowing me down. And so um, so I found this 120, but even with the 120, the melee still sucks. It's really bad. It's only 28 points, which is terrible. So I'm going to keep looking for high-level wild Ankies and hopefully find something. You know, I'd like some melee in the high 30s, if not better. Um, but in the meantime, you know, I am breeding them to, to start trying getting some mutations. So here again, we can transfer those mutations over. I think that gets us caught up now with everything that's going on here in the barn. Uh, and at the base itself, we're going to do one thing here before we take off. And that is that right on the other side of <coughs> that tree is a beehive. So I figured, hey, let's go ahead and get ourselves a fourth beehive because why the hell not, right? Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab our ghillie out of here. And um, let's, let's put that in there for now. Stuff makes me super heavy. Um, incidentally, oh, you know, there's another thing. I don't know if we're going to get to this in this episode, but um, I all of these blueprints that you see in here, I am going to make, including our Megalodon, that is such a nice, I'm so glad we found that, uh, our Megalodon, um, and also these uh, these here too. Um, and the reason why is because I'm going to do a respec, but I'm going to wait until after we're done doing the cave, because I have really high fortitude right now, uh, the Skylord cave. So once we finish that, then I'm going to come back, I'm going to respec, and I'm going to put all of my points, every single point I have, into crafting. And then we're going to make all this stuff and see, see, you know, what we can get. Okay. Um, we might get to that at the end of this episode. It just, like I said, it just kind of depends upon how, how our time goes. Okay. So, uh, we got our ghillie on. Let's grab some, some bug juice. Oh, the other thing I was going to say, you guys, I'm sure know this by now, if you play the game, uh, but Wildcard came out with a big, big patch and fixed a lot of things, which is nice. Um, one of the things they fixed is, I don't know if you guys ever noticed this, but if you, you know, went to cook something like some soups or whatever, and you press A to make all you can, it would always, it would only make up to 10, and sometimes not even that, even if you had enough stuff to make 100. So they fixed that now, uh, which is nice. They fixed a lot of other things. Supposedly, thylacolios are now supposed to work correctly which is mean means the redwoods are going to be more dangerous for us and probably explains why i still have not yet been pounced on by one of them all after all this time in the redwoods <laughs> one thing they have not fixed is the 50 50 bug it's still here um, when i logged in after i did the update the damn 50 50 bug had pulled a bunch of my wooden foundations out of my new uh platform there and you know put them up in the sky like it always does with a bunch of dinos and um, yeah, pain in the ass. So they haven't fixed that. I don't know why that is a major bug, but I guess it wasn't on the list or they just didn't know how to fix it. I don't know. I, I can't. I have no idea. They just didn't fix it. That's the point. <laughs> That's which is frustrating. So we still have to deal with that. 
Um, and the thing that makes it bad, like I said, is that it'll actually pull structures from your base and then throw them up there and then stack a bunch of dinos on top of it. It's just the weirdest shit that I've ever seen. Um, so that's why it's bad. Um, okay. So what are we doing? We got our Gillian. We got our bug spray. We're going to grab our bear. Oh, uh, we need kibble to tra tame the, the bee. I think it likes simple kibble. Here, let me look it up real quick. I mean, not that it matters. I, I could, I got so much extraordinary kibble. In fact, I've even stopped for the moment. I've stopped all egg laying because it, it's just, I got eggs coming out my ears. It's just ridiculous. Okay, yeah. So it's it's just one simple kibble will tame even a max level queen bee. Uh, so let's grab that and we'll just put it down here. I mean, I've got it, so I use it even though I could could use the higher one. And I already got the bear down below, so let's head on down and go get ourselves our fourth beehive. Kind of convenient that the hive is just right outside our base. And it is... where is it at? It's right at... ooh. I hope we can... I hope we can get to it with uh, all that stuff in the way. Okay, so it's uh, it's right up there. Why don't we remove some of these stones? So we'll start the pillars maybe right here. Yeah, I hope that uh, the frame of the tree platform doesn't cause us problems trying to do this. I guess we're going to find out here in a second. Okay, let's do a, a right attack first so we can get a little extra honey. Take one of those. There we go. Okay. There's the queen. Gotta kill all the little guys off. Yeah, she's just, she's like right up in the groove there. Okay, let's, can we get right up in the groove? Yes, we got her. Okay, cool. <laughs> all right, I don't know if we can... Fit that right there. Yeah, yeah, looks like we can. Cool. And then we'll put those in there. And it'll start making honey. While we still have our gillion, we might as well grab the honey out of the three that we've had for a while now. Gives us 144. Beautiful. All right, guys, we are here at the sea base. Just a couple things to get you caught up on before we head up to the cave. Um,. My goodness, it's loud here. Uh, first thing to note is that I finally found a 110 female basilo, uh, almost an albino one actually. And I then right after that found an 80 wild 85 uh, male basilo. Uh, so we found these in the wild and so I've started breeding them and these are going to be the start of our, uh, our bassy army. And so the two mothers that we currently have have 33 health, which is average, uh, kind of crappy stamina. Let's see what else. Uh, 30 damage, which is barely average. And then about 32 weight. So they're not super great stats, but they're, it's a start. A and B, um, I can now imprint them because... The Basilosaur that we took into the Western Sea Cave and just got our ass handed to us. That was like a level 85 or a 90 in the wild, and, I, and it wasn't imprinted. So these are already better than what we had before. So we're going to start the, the Bass, uh, Bassy Army. Uh, well, I already have started the Bassy Army. And then, uh, let's see, I also tamed up some decently high-level Ichthys because I have found that these guys are really good 
for just moving around in the ocean and, and the fact that you can shoot from their back means that they're excellent for taming and they're very fast so you know you can stay out of the way um so the plan here is just to you know uh, raise up um a couple of really high level imprinted ichthys so i got that going with them and then uh with the sharks we we're just continuing to breed the sharks excuse me these uh, sharks have really good stats I, i've showed them to you before but in case you haven't seen them you know 53 health is just phenomenal um and then they also have a, a melee mutation so they have a total of 46 which is also very good so yeah but both of my baryonyx and my sharks um are just really really good in terms of their stats um the thing that's holding me back on the baryonyx at the moment where more well i should say more specifically uh, running the ice cave is I still have not found a blueprint for a baryonyx saddle um, so I, I kind of want you know want to hold off until we get something better than just a basic saddle before we do our first attempt on the ice cave anyway okay so yeah I think that uh, pretty much is all I wanted to show you over here it is my plan to very soon possibly even in the next episode we'll see um, build our eastern sea base and the sea cave is right here so I'm gonna ba basically build the base uh, almost directly over it I went over here and kind of scouted underwater this is a lot better area it, because it's it's a little deeper and it doesn't have a crap ton of coral that you can't harvest um, so my plan is to to build an even larger sea base over here on the eastern sea coast and then move our basilos over there because, you know, the bassies are pretty big creatures. And once we start getting, you know, more than a few of these, we're just not going to have room over here. We might continue to breed the megal megalodons in this pin, but the bassies we're going to have to breed in the new pin. So that is, uh, you know, coming up for sure. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I guess that's it for getting you updated over here. Let's go ahead and uh, head on over to... The Artifact of the Sky Lord Cave. Okay, we are here at the cave. Uh, the first thing we're going to do, like we always do, is uh, set up a little shack. For those of you who do not know where this cave is located, there it is. So it's way up in the northwest of the map. Uh, in this location right there, which is longitude 14, long, uh, no, latitude 14, longitude 13. Uh, okay, so I'm going to make just a little 4x4 four four hut here so we have a place to respawn and a place to store the bird so it doesn't get attacked while we're in there because right up above us is there's lots of nasties up here that can spawn up here. So um, probably this little spot here is going to give us the most room to do that. Almost like I can already hear the bird, or not the birds, the bats inside the cave. It's weird. Um, is this... Oh, shit. You know what I didn't do? Damn it. I didn't bring a, a pick or anything with me. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, then we'll just... I can hear them damn bats in there. <laughs> it's a little bit unnerving. Oh, um, because I know what's coming up, man. <laughs> I, uh, you know, I took the Western Sea Cave for granted, obviously, if you guys saw the last two episodes, and I came out of there with my tail tucked between my legs, you know, so um, I'm not going to assume that this cave is going to be walking the park. Uh, not that I would assume that anyways. This cave is kind of a pain in the ass. It's a very dangerous cave from the standpoint of, if you fall into the crevasses that are in here, then you die. It's just an instant kill. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So that's really what makes it dangerous. The second thing that makes it super dangerous is you have to do it on foot. You cannot bring any critter, critter in here at all, except for an otter, which I still don't have, by the way. Kind of sucks. All right, let's get the roof pieces on here. Okay, and then um, let's grab the bed and that and this and this 
And some of that. Some of this and some of that. Put a little storage chest in the corner here. And we'll put a couple of beds down in this corner. And we're going to name these guys... Um, we'll call this Skylord 1. Actually, let's make it Skylord Cave 1. And Skylord Cave 2. Okay, so now we have a couple spawn points. Um, let's put this down. Nope, don't snap. Just put you right there. And throw some angler gel in there if we need it for any reason. We might as well cook that mutton up because it's not going to last otherwise. All right, inside of here, I'm going to put this. I just, I got that in a loot drop as well as this scope, which we don't need in here. Uh, I don't think we need narcotic for anything either. I picked that up out of a loot drop. Okay, so this is what we're taking in. I, I'm going in in my flak armor, um, except for I, I still don't have a good flak helmet. I mean, I've just picked this up out of the drop, so I'm going to use a fur helmet. And I've got free a curry, but this cave is very cold. So if it turns out that we can't handle the cold with our 62 fortitude and free a curry, I'm also bringing fur that we can switch over to. Okay, let's put this in our offhand and get the bird inside here. So it's safe. Have to crouch down to get around and yeah I'm just gonna let that do its thing okay, we'll pop these guys in and I think we're good to go all right the artifact to the Skylord cave been in here many times in evolved um, so I don't know you know how much of it has changed I'm expecting the basic layout to be the same because that still seems to be the same, you know, for all the other caves that we've been in so far. We have, um, I'll only use this if I know we're going to get into a big, huge fight because, you know, this gives me like berserk powers, but it also takes my health away. Um, we'll just have Lazarus Chowder for health regen. We'll have Freya Curry. We'll have Chili for fast movement speed and that Enduro Stew for better melee. Um, and then we'll... Yeah, see, I'm not having any temperature issues in here at all. None whatsoever. So far, anyway. All right, let's do this. So lots of bats, lots of spiders in here. I don't think there are arthropods in here. If there are, that's not good. <laughs> so I think if you go, if I remember right, if you go left, there's loot crates that you can get to. But you want to kind of, as I recall anyway... We want to kind of stay to the right to get to the artifact. It looks like there might be a loot crate in there. Okay, there's some spiders. Right. And they've... I have a lot of expensive gear on me, and some of it I can't replace, so it's going to really suck if we die. Um, the, probably the most valuable thing I have on me that I cannot replace is this shotgun, because this is... We looted this straight up. This isn't a blueprint, unfortunately. But we also need to bring some serious firepower into this cave, so, you know, we're just going to see what we can do. Is, is he dead? Kind of looks like it, yeah. Wait, is he? Yeah, he is. <laughs> or she, as the case may be. Okay. So I don't remember exactly where to go. I just, in my mind, my mind is telling me we, ha we want to stay kind of to the right-ish. More or less. Okay, this looks familiar. 
We're going to have to do a little bit of grappling hook action across that way. Um, so I kind of like to pull those bats over here before we get off onto this bridge. Can I... Okay, good. We hit him in the wing. Oh, what, are you stuck in the wall? Hmm. Does anybody know how to get rid of that slow frame detected message? There's not a damn thing I can do about it, so I don't need the game telling me every three minutes that I have a slow frame detected. It's kind of stupid. All right, well, obviously they're not coming, so we're going to have to go out onto the bridge. The thing is, is the bats could potentially push us into places we don't want to go. But I think that bat's got to be stuck in the wall. Well, there's two of them there. It's just that if they get unstuck and push us that way, we're dead. That's why I'm a little bit apprehensive about this. Let's see if we can kill them. Shit. Man, it's unbelievable how tough those guys are. I really wished I would have brought a damn pick or a, an axe, too. I don't think we can harvest these with the sword, can we? Oh, yeah, we can. Never mind. Okay. Our bird... Okay, what the hell is our bird doing? I think it's just, like, right on the other side of the wall. I'm tracking it. No, it's staying, staying put. Okay. All right, so we got to get over to there. Oh, geez, this is scary. Um, I don't know if this is the best way to go, though. I mean, we we'll, I'm not worried about us being able to grapple over there. It's just that once we land over there, we're going to get ganked. Hmm. Tell you what, let's go back this way. And see what happens here. Okay. Are you guys not able to get through there? Sucks to be you. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's go this way. I don't know if he's stuck or what's going on there. Here, let's get this shit out of the way. Alright, so far so good. stuff out of the way. I think we have another bat that's maybe glitched in the wall there. Oh shit! That scared me. Fortunately that was a pretty low level one. Uh, I, I don't need any of that stuff. This would seem to indicate there might be a red drop out through there. Or maybe that's just the artifact, I don't know. Alright. Don't seem to be hitting these guys. Yeah, there's the artifact right there, okay. They don't seem to be able to fly. Oh, okay, now they can. Whew. 
Okay, our health is good. So far we've still managed to not contract mega rabies. Don't ask me how. I can't... Oh, you know why? Because I think the hitbox on the artifact is preventing me from hitting him. It's also preventing him, or her, as the case may be, to get from getting to me. Shit. Okay. Um... Come on, game. Really? This is bullshit. It's got such a clear line of sight to it, and I can't hit it. Ah, frustrating. Okay. Here's what we're going to do, then. Um, we're going to grapple, so that way if we get knocked around, we don't fall into the canyon. No, here. Yeah, so we can't... Shit. Okay. What if we... Okay, we got to grapple there. Ooh. Here, you know what we gotta do is we gotta pick this thing up. There. Now come here. Whew. Okay. Good. We're still connected up there, right? Okay, uh, we can let go of that. This is, I think this is where we were earlier. Yeah, we were, we were over on that bridge earlier. Okay, so. What we're going to do is... Yeah, careful, 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 careful. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Let's take the artifact back out. Uh, and then we'll come back in and see if we can find the loot drops. And we can actually get the artifact again because it's already respawned. Does this go? And does it go anywhere? Okay. <gasps> I didn't see that drop off there. Oh no. I completely didn't see it. That's why this cave is so fucking dangerous. Wow. All right. Well... <laughs> <laughs> I that was that was terrible. It was just absolutely terrible. There's probably absolutely no way in hell we can recover our stuff. I have nothing to lose by going in there at least once just to try though. <sighs> because I mean even if we can get to the spot itself uh without monsters killing us unless the bag by some frickin' miracle, you know, stays up on the ledge where we can grab it, we're pretty much screwed. Man, I'm temperature wise, I'm doing really good in here. Yeah, there's we're not gonna be able to get to that. Yeah, that that is so sneaky. I mean, I absolutely did not see that. Okay, well, we lost an incredibly valuable shotgun, but, 
you know, we'll we'll have an opportunity to get another one at some point. But I already actually do have another pretty good one, but it wasn't as good as that one. And it's still just the shotgun itself, not the blueprint. But I don't even see a bag down there anyway, so... Yeah, when you fall into these holes, it's just it. That's all there is to it. Um, okay. Let's get rid of that. And I got... See, I got a little turned around, too, which is very easy to do in this cave. Because I thought I was coming back out on the right-hand path. You know? Um, is it even possible for us to... Yeah, I'm, I'm already lost. But, it, I mean, if I die, it doesn't matter, really. I was going to say, is it possible for us to at least get back to the artifact? I'm completely lost already. This is a maze. I just came through there, didn't I? Um, there's n absolutely no way I can jump that. Because as soon as I jump, my head's going to hit the ceiling and push me down into the hole. Um, Alright, let's go up this way. We'll just keep going until we fall into another insta-death crevasse or find a loot crate and then fall into an insta-death crevasse or get the artifact and then fall into an insta-death crevasse or run into mobs and fall into an insta-death crevasse <laughs> those are our options man can't go that way This way. There's a bag of something we killed earlier. I mean, if we could walk out of here with the artifact, it wouldn't be a total loss. That's just it, though. <laughs> getting out of here. Just FYI, 62 Fortitude will allow you to come into this cave naked and be just fine. So, there's that. Okay, so the thing is, is... I can't reach that from here, can I? Um, if I go down there, I can't get back up. I... And I don't know if I can make that jump. We have nothing to lose by trying it, though, right? We just don't. Okay, let's grab Skylord again. Yeah, see, without a grappling hook, there's no getting up back this way. Um, oh, shit. Okay. See, I can't... Well, okay, here we go. Here goes nothing. Ah! Ah! I think there was something above my head that prevented me from getting any airtime on that jump. Okay, well, let's uh, let's go back to here, grab the bird, head back to the base, re-kit, and come back and try this again. All right, guys, we are back, and look what I just found in that drop. A Baryonyx, Mastercraft Baryonyx Saddle Blueprint. That's that's good. That's really good. We're going to need that for sure for the ice cave. Uh, and then, of course, we found a Sabertooth uh, Saddle, too, and some other stuff there. Uh, all right, we are back and ready to give this another, another shot here. See if this campfire actually gives us some cooked mutton. That's such bullshit. I don't, I just completely don't understand the rationale. Unless it's a bug. Maybe it's just a bug. I don't know. But uh, if you put raw mutton in, you should get cooked mutton out. End of fucking discussion. Seriously. I mean, come on. Oh, geez. Okay. Anyway, um, let's get all that shit out of you. 
Yeah, I'm a little I'm a little salty right now, guys. When losing that shotgun just sucked. Um, we have another ascendant pump shotgun, but it's only about half the damage of that other one. But you know, every just about everything else I have on is easily replaceable. I mean, it's kind of expensive to replace, but we can replace it. I mean, I got extra uh, crossbows. This is a blueprint. This is the one thing we can't replace. So if we lose, if we die again and lose this, we we're back to primitive pump shotguns. I do have a couple of double barrels that are nice levels, but they're, you know, they're double barrels. Uh, this is a blueprint. This is a blueprint. I have an even higher blueprint than this. I just happen to have these. So we don't, we can't replace the gloves or the helmet, <clears throat> excuse me, at this point, or, or the shield actually for that matter either, but you know, whatever. So let's just see if we can pull this off this time and get back out. So our, our first and most important goal is to get in, get the artifact and get the fuck back out. <laughs> Uh, and then after that, we'll decide, you know, what we're going to do from there. Okay, so let's climb back on in here. Um, we'll get in far enough to, to where we start to see some mobs. We want to stay to the right. Okay. All right, let's do... Um, I mean, we're not even we're not even cold, let alone, but we're, we're just going to do this anyways. Let's take, let's just take all of these. Um, that helps us aim better, I guess. So yeah, we'll take that too. Let's put this in here. All right, here we go again. Um, the thing we got to do is we really got to watch the floor because here again, that that little, you know, crevasse that I fell into just completely took me by surprise. I was so not expecting that. I mean, big time not expecting it. So, yeah, whenever we're moving through here, we really got to watch the floor and just move with small, small steps, man. Small steps. That's the name of the game. Okay. But, yeah, staying to the right for the most part is what you want to do to get over here. Does that get you right here to the artifact? Um, I'm not even seeing any mobs in here. So let's just jump down here. Grab the artifact. And then we'll go this way. This is where I died the second time. Um, and let's just get rid of that because there's no reason to have it there. And then we should be able to just... Let's see, let's grapple to there. Okay, that's good. And then we just come this way. All right, now watch the floor carefully. <laughs> carefully, carefully watch the floor. Uh, I'm even gonna keep the grappling hook out, you know, and available to us. Okay, we'll go this way. All right, I think we're back really close to the entrance. I just don't remember if it's that way or this way. I think it's this way. Hmm, is this right? Oh, yeah, this is right. Okay. Whew. Okay, good. Good deal. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the artifact in here. And so we've accomplished our main goal. We could go back in and see if we can get a second one, or we could see if we can find a loot crate or three. But if we die now, at least we got the artifact, right? The only the only serious loss that we'll take is that pump shotgun. But I mean, you know, we can live with that if we have to. So now, what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to go to the left. Let's keep this out. And again, watch the floor. 
That is the name of the game here, because there's supposed to be at least one loot crate in here, maybe even more, I don't know. And all I remember is that you you go to the right for the artifact and you go to the left for the loot crate. That's all I remember. Uh, I'm not sure I'm liking where that connected. Okay, I'm liking that better. All right. Watch the floor. That's the name of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Watch the floor. There's nothing up that way. Oh, I'm so glad we found that Baryonyx saddle, though, or Baryonyx saddle blueprint, to be more precise. That that really improves my spirits tremendously after that big fiasco of dying earlier. Like, big time. All right, let's stay to the left. And watch the floor. <laughs> uh, hmm. Lots of crystal in here. I did bring my pick, but got a pretty good supply of crystal already back at the base so okay that doesn't go anywhere a little bit of metal there oh shit come on game you can't just spawn those guys right in front of my face that's bullshit no warning whatsoever <clears throat> Scared the bejeebus out of me, man. Okay, there's nothing that way. Get out of here. Oh, Lord Almighty, that scared me. Okay. Watch the floor. There's got to be a freaking loot crate in here somewhere. It's getting a little laggy. That's kind of scary. There's a pool of water, a bath that way. Can we... Yeah, we're doing so much less damage than we did before. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna... do this, because I can't see where the fuck you guys are. All right, let's take one of these. I'm still a little salty, <laughs> if it isn't obvious, even though, you know, getting that, um, that Baryonyx, I mean, that's the, that's the, uh, what do they call it? The, um, the silver lining, All right? That's the silver lining. If we had not have died, then we probably would not have found that Mastercraft saddle because the events of dying led up to it. Um, so there you go. But I'm still pissed anyways. <laughs> All right, let's go left. Uh, okay, that's the way we just came. Watch the floor. I mean, I don't even hear the loot crate in here, man. What the hell? I hear bats, but I don't hear loot crates. All right, there's a bat there. In theory, we should be able to walk across that, but I'm not taking any chances. In fact, I'm going to even leave this uh, grappling hook in place just in case we get pushed. Level 150 on it. It feels like it takes so long to reload. All right, 
Yeah, see how he's pushing me back? That's why we're keeping the grappling hook attached. Okay, let's reload. Okay, he did. Or she is the case, maybe. Whew. Okay. Okay, he, he or she looked like they were stuck. We got a big spidey over here. I hear a Uteranus that's above us. Well, the spider can seems to be able to survive in the water. Disconnect that. I guess we go... Here, let's see if we can kill this spider first. Just like that. Okay, there's a path that goes up to the right, or this path that goes over to the left. Uh, let's do this. Let's go up here. the artifact off to our left watch the floor I gotta keep reminding myself you guys watch the floor all right so we could go down that way I guess but you know what I <sighs> I think I'd rather... I'm having a lot of lag in here. We are going to go that way. I'd rather cross over from here because it's just a little more... I mean, I don't know what happens if I fall in that water. I'm going to assume that I die if I fall into it. That's my assumption. Okay, we can let go of that. Watch the floor. Like this room's a dead end. Alright, so this is back this way. I don't know, maybe we just had some shit ass luck and didn't get a loot crate in this cave, or I completely went the wrong way. I don't know. Let's go for a second artifact and just get out of here. I mean, I got the swamp cave for loot. <laughs> as crazy as it sounds, it's not as dangerous as this place is. And we'll get two Skylord artifacts, and then, you know, if we ever need another one, well, we'll have to come back in here again. Um, okay, so stay way off to the left. Ugh. The hitbox on that thing is just a little bit crazy. Alright, back this way again, like we did before. Come out to here. Pull up to there. Just get out of this room here altogether. Okay. So I um I don't know what else to do in terms of trying to find a loot crate. Um I uh, it is so laggy in here. I turn my mouse and then the screen just kind of freezes for a minute no, well not a minute but long enough to make make me like oh what the fuck you know all right where does this go that looks like that kind of goes back down to that water area we were just at we just want to stay to the left 
Yeah, as soon as we see this kind of little darker sandy area, that's the way out. All right. So we got two Skylord artifacts now. I'm going to do I'm going to do one more trip in. Um and if I die, I die. You know, we got two Skylord artifacts, so we accomplished the main goal. I just wanted one more attempt in here to try and find a loot crate. Because in Survival Evolved, there was always at least one loot crate in this cave. Always. And it usually was to the left passage. Um, but I did not see it. So I think this is the way we came and we stayed... We stayed to the left. Wait, did we come? This? Yeah, we did come this way. Because remember, I shot there and then I repositioned it. Uh, well, at least I remember that. So let's go this way instead. Watch the floor. You know, if it wasn't for the crevasses in here, this would actually be an easy cave to do. It really wouldn't be that hard, but... Those son of a bitches can sneak up on you, man, as we saw. And uh, it's all over but the crane when that happens. There's no getting out. Of course, the cold would be, you know, makes this cave difficult, too, for if you don't have, you know, high fortitude or the right um, armor for it. That is not a problem that we currently have. Let's go through this passageway. It's very difficult, though, I think anyways, to get your bearings in this place because it's it's just a maze. All right, so that's just the same crossing that we went through before. I think we went up here, right? And Oh, did we go this way? We probably did, because I kind of stayed left the whole time. So let's go this way. I don't know, this kind of looks like the room. Yeah, this, this leads back out. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Normally, we would go that way to get to the artifact, and it's already back now. What if we go this way? We got that water there, which we're gonna assume will kill us. Item cache. Oh yeah, see we were already through here because we killed the bats and stuff. Let's go up this way. I think that's the same. Yeah, we've already been through here. Hmm. All right, you know what? Well, let's just go see if we can get a third artifact and screw this place. <laughs> It sucks. It's too hard to figure out where the hell I'm at. All right, let's go back this way. I might have to do a little research on this place because, I mean, as far as my understanding goes, all of the caves are supposed to spawn three artifacts, or I'm sorry, three loot crates. And I haven't found a single loot crate in this place. Not a one. So either I'm just completely going the wrong direction or something else is going on. Right, gotta 
cash there. Hmm. All of my soups are gone and I'm not even snowflake cold at this point. Uh, when we do the respec, well, I'm going to do a respec and put all the points into, into crafting, you know, and make all the blueprint stuff. And then I'm going to respec again, of course. And at that point, I don't think I'm going to... Uh, I don't think I'm going to put as many points into fortitude because I need more weight. I have really bad weight at the moment. Okay, let's just move towards the sound of the artifact again. Okay, yeah, that was... I, I know where we are now, sort of. Come back down this way. And then we cross over this way. Let's go this way. Watch the floor. I think this is... Is this a dead end or not? Yeah, that, that, that's a dead end. I want to go this way. When we see the red stuff on the wall, then we know we're on the right path here. Okay, jump down here, grab this, and go this way. Come out to here, grab up to there. all the way out of this room and then stay to the left. While we watch the floor. is the way out I'm I'm just I guess they we just didn't have any loot crates in here I don't know I don't know what to say but the good news is that we got three artifacts of the Sky Lord and um, I don't remember which boss requires that I'm pretty sure it's the dragon boss I'm planning on doing the dragon boss for gamma which which will require it, and then again for Alpha. So we may not ever have to come back in this freaking piece of shit cave. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, that sucked that we lost a shotgun. But you know what? It is what it is. This is Ark. Those kinds of things happen in Ark. Uh, we'll have to leave these two here because I can only take one at a time. I don't have a um, an honor with me, but at least we can come back and get them if we need to. All right, you guys. Well... Um, I think we're going to wrap up the episode here. Not sure what we'll do in the next episode. Um, 
we might uh, at least in uh, you know for part of the time in uh during the episode we might work on the eastern sea base uh so that's kind of the tentative plan but if something changes i will be sure to let you know so thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel leave a comment share out the video and we'll catch you all in the next episode bye bye Thank you.